Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Kyle with Spicer Woodworking, and uh, today I'm building a CNC router table out of this 2x4 Basics uh, kit off Amazon. These are the legs here. They have six uh, hard plastic shelf type units, some hardware, and then instructions. Um, in this table, I'm doing a 48 inch by 48 inch to accommodate the Shea Poco 4 router that I ordered. So it's just one sheet of plywood ripped in half. And then I got five standard 2x4s by, by 8. And then so the first thing I did was I did uh, four 2x4s by, by 48 inches. And then I did the remaining four at 45 inches. So when I join it all together, it'll make a perfect uh, 48 by 48. It came out really well. Um, I chose to use the Amazon Basics or the 2x4 Basics over building my own. Uh, just because I'm in the military and I do move a lot. Um, so I think it'd be pretty nice to just take unscrew some things and have these nice hard plastic um, table legs, I guess. And uh, they don't, uh, they don't, I don't think they'll warp or anything like that. And then it always comes out level. It's super easy, um, really strong. And uh, they can kind of do a bunch of different things with it, which is pretty sweet. Um, I, as you can see, I have a one-car garage. Space is limited. Um, so I'm only going to do the two shelves so I can fit a bunch of stuff, maybe some larger items underneath up here on this little lip. Uh, so here I, I screwed all four legs in, but uh, when you're doing it, definitely leave one leg out, put your bottom uh, tabletop on there, and then screw it back together. So like I said, the front ones here are 48 inches, and then this 45s are just placed in there. And then I went around and secured it all. I didn't... I wasn't like trying to be super precise with it or anything like that. I was just seeing how it would come out. Um, and to my surprise, it came out perfectly level on everything. Um, you'll see here, they recommend doing like a support beam across the middle. So I just measured on the inside uh, cut there. It was like 62 and some change inches. So then I just kind of slopped in there. And it'll just be a support. I don't, I don't know if I really needed to do that or not, but it's nice to have. Um, and my 2x4 was a little warped, so you can see right here it didn't really fall in, so I took this back off and flipped it over. Uh, and I ended up putting a couple screws on it, but yeah, I took my level right across there, and uh, and it was level on each side. And then here's a little up close, kind of, you see the three screw holes up top. I believe there's two on the bottom, but they're angled in, so they just grab the plot, they grab the 2x4 uh, and bring it in real nice. You have the option of adding a middle shelf too. Um, but yeah, no. So it's a super cheap, easy, basic uh, router table for your CNC. Thanks a lot.